Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Let us pause for a moment and pray for the departed souls. Let us pray for the following intentions during this Gregorian Masses. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Basani Kasparedi. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Gade Roja Mary. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Joy John Lopes. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Sister Olga Lopes. Mr. Owen Somasundaram offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Lionel Somasundaram. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Gabadari Raja Rao. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Gabadari Sundari. Vijay Vargis offers this Mass for the departed soul of Anna Saheb Mohiti. Debora offers this Mass for the departed soul of Virginia John Fernandez. Anthony Vincent offers this Mass for the departed soul of Nicholas Vincent. Anthony Vincent offers this Mass for the departed soul of Dorothy Vincent. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. I. F. Vincent. Mr. Annie Dasi offers this Mass for the departed soul of all the abandoned babies. Jayamala Vincent offers this Mass for the departed souls in the purgatory. Ligori Pinto and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Jacinta Pinto. Miss Geeta Fernandez offers this Mass for the departed souls of Mr. James and Kanta Solanki. Miss Geeta Fernandez offers this Mass for the departed soul of deceased friends and family. Miss Geeta Fernandez offers this Mass for the departed souls in the purgatory. Anju Santley de Souza offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Stanley Maxi de Souza. Miss Ancilla Jacinta Matias offers this Mass for the departed souls of all souls in purgatory. Miss Ancilla Jacinta Matias offers this Mass for the departed soul of Emmanuel Salvador Matias. Miss Ancilla Jacinta Matias offers this Mass for the departed soul of Concepta de Souza. Paidimala Prakash Babu and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Paidimala Dharma Raju Master. Paidimala Prakash Babu and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Paidimala Purna Teja. Presi family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Annie Mary Perse. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Joachim Francis Paris. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Oislin Paris. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Flora Paris. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Gilbert Paris. Sally Lazarus offers this Mass for the departed soul of Maria Antonita Jona de Costa. Anuncia Paul de Souza offers this Mass for the departed soul of Paul Sebastian de Souza. Monterio family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Gabriel Pascal Monitrio. Simi offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Davis. Simi offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Maris. Mrs. Gemello Robin offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. K.P. Thomas. Vice Vidaka Reddy Asunta and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Kambam Raphael Reddy. Matai and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Philip Akarthara. Paul Rodriguez offers this Mass for the departed souls of all the family members. Vice Vidaka Reddy Asunta and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Vaivira Reddy. 
Sanjeev and Lithi offers this mass for the departed soul of Erupakatu family members. Sanjeev and Lithi offers this mass for the departed soul of Karimbamakal family members. Sanjeev and Lithi offers this mass for the departed soul of Molail family members. Sanjeev and Lithi offers this mass for the departed soul of Pulikal family members. Mrs. Maria Joseph de Souza offers this mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Laurentia F. de Souza. Janet Marcus offers this mass for the departed soul of Marcus Mas Bijeng Singh. Janet Marcus offers this mass for the departed soul of M. Doris. Janet Marcus offers this mass for the departed soul of Jacob Marcus. Cecilia Marcus offers this mass for the departed soul of Christopher Jararaj. Emilia Frederick Dimello and family offers this mass for the departed soul of Michael Paided Rodriguez. Emilia Frederick Dimola and family offers this mass for the departed soul of Lourdes Jospin Rodriguez. Frederick Emilia Dimola and family offers this mass for the de departed souls of Dimolo family members. Supriya and Sheshi Bhushanam Reddy offers this mass for the departed soul of Kambam Mary. Joan and family offers this mass for the departed soul of Blasius. Surya Baby and offers this mass for the departed soul of Mrs. and Mr. Baby. Surya Baby offers this mass for the departed souls of Mrs. and Mr. CG. Surya Baby offers this mass for the departed soul of Sister Silma. Cheryl, Margaret and Floyd Lefray offers this mass for the departed souls of all the family members. Lorna Moyes and Pamel Quadros offer this mass for the departed souls of sons of Malcolm Quadros. Lorna Moniz and Pamela Quadros offer this mass for the departed souls of sons of Donald Pinto. Lorna Moniz and Pamela Kudros offer this mass for the departed souls of sons of Albert Pinto and family. Amala Benjamin offers this mass for the departed soul of M.B. Jospin Mary. F.N.V. Gomes offers this mass for all the departed souls in the forgetry. F.N.V. Gomes offers this mass for all souls in the forgetry. Let us pray for these intentions during this Holy Eucharist. Dear brothers and sisters, today the church gives the feast of St. Andrew, the brother of St. Peter. And he is the instrumental in bringing, one, according to one version, that is gospel according to John, he calls his own brother, saying that we have found a Messiah. That's the greatest treasure, to put it in the words of Tobit. In another incident today, we read in the gospel how the Lord calls both these brothers, Andrew and Peter, when they were doing their work. He made them as a messengers of Christ. Let us pause for a moment and see. With baptism, we too are called to serve in the Master's place. Are we able to spread the good news just like them? Are we able to sacrifice their life just like this Apostle Andrew. Let us feel sorry for all the times we have sinned against God and our neighbor. I confess to you, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, I have greatly, greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Peace to His people, peace to His people, 
peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Peace to His people, peace to His people, peace to His people on earth. Jesus Christ, Lamb of God, only Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, Lord have mercy on us. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Peace to His people, peace to His people, peace to His people on earth. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Peace to His people, peace to His people, peace to His people on earth. Let us pray. We humbly implore Your Majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for Your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before You, through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So faith comes from hearing and hearing to the word of Christ. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 10, verses 9 to 18. Brethren, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord for all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord who has believed what he has heard from us. So faith comes from hearing and hearing to the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have heard. Their voice has gone out to all the earth and the words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Open your ears, O oh Christian people. Open your ears and hear good news. Open your hearts, O oh royal priesthood. God has come to you. God has spoken to His people, Alleluia. And His words are words of wisdom, Alleluia. God has spoken to His people, Alleluia. And His words are words of wisdom, Hallelujah. The 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 22. At the time, while Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boats and follow, followed their father, and boats and their father, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus Lord Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today as we celebrate the Feast of Andrew, the first reading, Roman chapter 10, verse 15, 14 and 15, we find the importance of the preachers, the one who proclaim the word of God. If there is no one to send, as Isaiah would say in his book, Lord, here I am ready to be sent. He was willing. And like that, how many are there to be sent so that they can proclaim the word of God. That is one. Second, even if they are chosen, how many may get distracted? For example, out of 12, Judas had his own business. Others too have their own ideas about Jesus' calling. And what was the calling of Jesus himself? His idea was right from the beginning when he prayed and called them until his death, even after death, his calling is to work for the mission of God. And Andrew, whose, key, whose feast we celebrate today, is one of the key persons in the Jesus' ministry. And he himself, according to gospel, according to John, John chapter 1, we find how he goes and tells his brother, brother, we have found a Messiah. And prior to that, he was able to explain to his brother because he himself felt happy at his presence. Before James, Peter, and John having experience of Jesus at the transfiguration, it is Andrew and another disciple had at the presence of Jesus when they were going towards the fourth hour, they went and they stayed. Rabbi, where do you stay? And he stayed. He showed their staying place and that's how he was taken up. And Andrew, in another gospel, in the same gospel, John, gospel according to St. John, Chapter 6, we find he is instrumental making the loaves and fish to be multiplied for 5,000 people. He knew, he was little wonder as we are wondering today, especially the people who are called to do the service. Sometimes we may be wondering regarding the face or the situation that happens. But just like Andrew being consoled by the master, so also... He was told, look at me, not look at your own self or look at the world. And he was able to search for it. He searched and he found that a boy was having. And Jesus himself could can come even like a child Jesus to help us in our own life. And the boy would give. And later he himself, Andrew himself becomes part and parcel of Christ's ministry where he distributes. Towards the end of his life, he himself was crucified but in a and a position like X shape. Therefore, dear brothers, the shape itself will put a question to us. Do we also question the authenticity of Jesus? Jesus also calls each of us through the baptism. And the others, as we read in John chapter 17, Jesus prays for everyone, not only his sheep, but the people who are outside, to whom the Lord willing to sacrifice his life. He's asking you and me, what kind of life do we live? Are we able to proclaim about him? We may not be baptized sometime. There are some brothers and sisters who still live other faith, but yet do the very good deeds which Jesus is asking. For example, feeding the hungry, giving the water to the thirsty. These are the basic things which allow them into God's kingdom. As we offer this Holy Eucharist for the departed souls, 
those brothers too might have heard the same word of god but at times may might have been failed to practice or some of them might have practiced but yet due to their sinful life they may be at purgatory some of them may be with god interceding for us in return as we continue to pray let us ask through the intercession of saint andrew may all these departed souls for whom this gregorian mass is offered may enter god's kingdom when the music fades all that swept away and it simply gone longing death to bring that dream from the world it will bless your heart I bring you more than a song For a song in itself It's not what you have required You search much deeper within To the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the thing I made it when it's all about you all about you Jesus Pray to your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church grant us almighty god that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of saint andrew we may please you by what we have brought and given life by what you have accepted through christ our lord Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and our duty our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ. your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnated by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people he stretched out his hands as you endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with all the angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god of host Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks He gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith 
Savior, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Paul Anthony, our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of a resurrection. Let us remember all the departed souls for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. John Bosco, St. Anthony, St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Nicholas, St. Trita, Matthias Wolf, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say a word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Let us all kneel in the presence of our Master and pray the litany of saints for the departed souls. Litany of the faithful departed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. 
Christ have mercy on us Christ have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us Our response is have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed God the father of heaven have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed God the son redeemer of the world have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed God the holy spirit have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed holy trinity one god have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed our response is pray for the souls of the faithful departed holy mary mother of god pray for the souls of the faithful departed saint michael pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you angels and archangels pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you orders of our blessed spirits pray for the souls of the faithful departed saint joseph pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy patriarchs and prophets pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy apostles and evangelists pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy martyrs pray for the souls of the faithful departed All you holy bishops and confessors pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy doctors pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy priests and levites pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy monks and hermits pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy virgins and widows pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you saints of god pray for the souls of the faithful departed Be merciful spare them o lord be merciful graciously hear us o lord our response is o lord deliver them from all evil o lord deliver them from the rigor of your justice o lord deliver them from the power of the devil o lord deliver them from long enduring sorrow o lord deliver them from cruel flames o lord deliver them from terrible horrible darkness o lord deliver them from dreadful weeping and wailing o lord deliver them through your holy nativity o lord deliver them through your most sweet name o lord deliver them through your most profounded humiliations o lord deliver them through your infinite love o lord deliver them through your bloody sweat o lord deliver them through your scorching o lord deliver them through your crowning with thorns o lord deliver them through your carrying of the cross o lord deliver them through your most cruel death o lord deliver them through your five most of holy of wounds o lord deliver them our response is we beseech you hear our hear us We sinners we beseech you hear us in the day of the judgment we beseech you hear us you who forgave magdalene and did, and uh, did grant the prayer of the thief we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to deliver the souls of our parents relations friends and benefactors from all the pain of hell we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to have mercy on those on those of whom no special remembrance is made on earth we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to grant them all the pardon and remission of our sins we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to receive them into the company of the blessed we beseech you hear us king of lawful majesty we beseech you hear us Son of God we beseech you hear us Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them eternal rest Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them eternal rest Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them rest everlasting Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us Lord have mercy L- Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy From the gate of hell deliver their souls O Lord O Lord hear my prayer and let my cry come unto you Let us pray O God 
the creator and the redeemer of all the faithful grant unto the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins that by the pious supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desire grant this o god who lives and reigns forever and ever amen o eternal god who besides the general precepts of charity has commanded a particular respect for parents kindred and benefactors grant we beseech you that as they were the instruments by which your providence bestowed on us our birth education innumerable other blessings so our prayers may be the means to obtain for them a speedy release from their excessive sufferings and admittance to your infinite joys through Christ our lord amen eternal rest grant unto them o lord and let, let the perpetual light shine upon them may they rest in peace amen let us pray may the communion in your sacrament strengthen us o lord so that by the example of blessed apostle g uh, andrew we who carry in our body the death of christ may merit to live with him in the glory who live and reign forever and ever Amen. 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 The Lord be with you and with and your Lord spirit. Lord. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. A wonderful prayer, a glorious divine, as of salvation, purchase of God, born of a spirit, washed in his blood.